Hey, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be taking a look here at the Hoi Hoi San new edition. This is basically a re-release of the Hoi Hoi San kit here. A Hoi Hoi San is a line of kits that Kotobukiya makes that are, these are based off of a manga, I believe, where they're like these little robots. So these are one-to-one -one scale, I believe. There's these little robots that live in your house and eliminate bugs. Uh, cockroaches and stuff in your house, I guess, in the anime or in the uh, manga, I should say. I don't think there's an anime adaptation of them, but uh, I built and reviewed one before a couple years back when that was given to me by a friend, and that was a different one, but uh, there's a few different ones out. Uh, but this is, the, I guess, just the regular one. So I'm not really too sure what's new about the new edition of this, except that it's just probably some updated packaging on it, and I think that's about it. I think the kit, as far as I know, is the same, but if there's anything else different to it, you guys can let me know. They are all. They are also making a new edition of another version that's also coming out in the near future as well. So if you guys are into this sort of style and you think you might like one of these kits, then now's a good time to get them as they're now making these new editions of them. So let's take a look around the box here and see what we got. I love this box art where it's just a photograph of the kit. Kotobukiya has also done that recently with their 120 scale Mechatro kit. That was a release combination in the, with the Mechatro kit and the uh, hand scale Gorai Frame Arms Growth kit. They had a similar box art style on that. I really like it, it's just a real fresh look. On the sides of the box, just gonna be the same thing, just a closer up image there of the front box art. On the bottom of the box here though, we got a lot more stuff to look at. We got a front and back look at what the kit looks like when it's all painted up. A very muted color scheme there, you just got white, black, and then some very light tones there for the hair and the skin, if you're following the official color scheme here. And she does have some weapons, she's got a sword, an Uzi, and a broom for her accessories, and then you do have some different eye options, which basically look like it's just the same kind of face, and you just got looking straight, looking left, and looking right, and that's basically it. Uh, you got the cradle and feet, so you just got some feet options instead of the boots or shoes, I guess, if you want, and then you have this like cradle base, which I guess is supposed to be like the charging dock for it, uh, again, which is pretty interesting. And then there's a look at what the kit is gonna look like, completely unpainted, just straight up out of the box, and it doesn't look that different, really, aside from just the painted version being a little bit nicer in terms of like the shading, especially on the hair, but straight out of the box, it is gonna look pretty much exactly how it's supposed to, for the most part. Up on the top of the box here, we have an illustration of the character there, uh, looks pretty nice. And then you can see the list price over there as well. It's a list price for 4,800 yen. So that 4,800 yen price tag for this, I will admit, does seem a little bit high. I mean, for what you get, the robot's not that big. I mean, the kit, as you guys will see, is not terribly large. It's about the same height as like a high-grade Gunpla kit. So, you know, around 45, 50 bucks for this might seem a little bit expensive. But then again, if you're used to building a lot of Kotobukiya kits, it's not that out of the norm for a Kotobukiya kit like this. But the nice thing about these kits is that they are really nice and fun and cute and unique. So let's check it out. So in here we've got Six bags of runners, uh, some other face parts and some smaller parts here, some metal magnet parts looks like. Maybe those are magnets for her feet to stay in the charging dock, that's pretty cool. And uh, then our manual. So on the front of the manual here, just that artwork that we saw on the top of the box there, looking very nice. Again on the back just that Mars logo, again I'm assuming that's something to do with the uh, manga. Maybe that's like the brand of that makes these products in the manga again, I don't really know, but in here we got some more specs about this uh, character or this uh, character, what would you call it, robot, I guess, mini robot, little device, I guess, maybe a device, maybe, I don't know, Hoi Hoi San, you got some illustrations there front and back of the Hoi Hoi San character, some sketches down there as well, and over here some more photos of the painted sample build as well. We got our parts list in here, and then it's just straight into the building process, so you'll just build that up. And then in the back here, we do also have our color and decal guide. So the decals are pretty simple. You don't have a lot of them, but those would be basically just for the eyes and a couple of markings. And then the color guide down here as well, that's all listed in Japanese. And then the color guide for the options and the cradle there as well. So it looks like you got some options there for that. And it just shows how to swap the face plates there, it looks like. So, all right, let's get a look at the runners. All right, so here's the water slide decal sheet, basically the Hoi Hoi San ID3 and then or was 3XM. I guess you have some options there. I think those go on the front of the skirt, basically. And then you got some decals here for the eyebrows, the eyelashes, and then eyes 
or if you wanted to put those on instead of the pre-printed eyes, which we've got here. So instead of a swappable face, basically you have swappable eyes. Now one eye is looking straight, one's looking left, one's looking right. They look very, very similar, like it's going to be kind of hard to tell which one's which, but you'll just put one of these eye options behind this piece, which is the face plate there, which is, as you can see, it got some black and like some light pink painted on there for some pre-painted detail for the eyelashes and eyebrows on the face piece. And yeah, again, like I said, we got some magnets in here, one big plate, or I guess like one metal plate and then four magnets. So I think you get the options to put those in the, either the feet or put the, them in the feet and the shoes, I should say. So those will be able to just snap into place in the base, which is pretty awesome. And we do have some polycaps here in brown as well, uh, A and B, basically for some polycap ball joints there. Runner A here is going to be our parts for the base. So you can see we got some pre-painting over here on this black piece, you got some green and red, so I think you'll be able to move that from side to side. You put that piece inside here or inside here, and you can move that side to side whether you want to display that as a little green light or a little red light or just off by just placing it in the middle on the black part there. So that's already pre-painted on there for you, which is pretty cool. And you can see also this is where that metal piece is gonna go there for the magnets in the bottom of there also. So this runner, by the way, is from 2010 all the way 10 years ago now. Our other runner A here is from 2009, and this is obviously all the parts for the hair. It's in this very light peach kind of color for the hair for this. And we've got two different B runners, so we'll just go with the first one here. These are all just skin tone parts, and this runner is from 2009. Our other B runner is also skin tone parts, but this runner is from 2010. So basically 2009, 2010 is when these kits were, I guess, originally coming out, and now 10 years later. So maybe it's a 10th anniversary thing, I guess? I don't, I don't know, but uh, there's our two different skin tone B runners. Runner C, however, we only have one of. This is just in white, but the parts do have a very matte finish to them, so I think this is gonna look really nice just straight out the box without these white parts being all super shiny and plasticky. And as you can see, we've got some pre-printing down here uh, for like the front of the apron, so that looks pretty nice as well. And the runner D is in this super dark brown color, like almost practically black, basically for some more parts uh, for like the skirt and some more like, I guess these are parts like for the ears, I think. But this one as well, you can see this part for the skirt is in a very matte black and these parts over here in a little bit more glossy. So it's cool how they have the different textures printed on there. I'm not sure if the original kit was like that as well, or maybe that's something that's just part of the new edition that they've change up the textures a little bit of the plastic possibly. Anyway, this runner is also from 2009. Runner E here is a few more white parts in ABS. Runner F, a few more skin tone parts in ABS as well. And as you can see on these parts here, they've got the black pre-painted on the front of those parts there. And then Runner G in this dark brownish gray color is basically the parts for our weapons. So you can see the broom, the sword, the gun are all here on the G runner. This one as well from 2009. Oops, sorry, no, actually we do have another C runner, which is the little clear part for the base to go over the little sort of light looking feature on the front of that. You'll put this clear part on there to complete the effect of that look. So I mean, the construction of this does look like it's going to be pretty basic, like if you've ever built any of the Kodobu frame arms girls or those type of kits then you probably can get a good sense of how this is going to go together but it's going to be again pretty simple because it's a very simple design that doesn't have a lot going on with it is it really going to be worth the price i mean you do have a lot of pre-painted pre-painted parts pre-printed parts in there the magnets kind of a cool little feature but those i think maybe still don't add up to the $50 ish price tag for this. But still, I think it does look like it's gonna be a really nice kit. I wish that they would have made the hair parts also in like kind of matte finish as well, but I'm gonna get this all built up and then we'll see how it comes together. All right, here she is all built up. A uh, very small, cute, simple build. It didn't really take all that long. It's a relatively simple kit, simple design. I mean, it doesn't have a bunch of like uh, crazy armor and backpack effect parts and things like that on it or crazy weapons. So it's not a build that's gonna take you a whole long time to get it built up. At least that said, it will will take you a little bit longer, I think, if you are planning on painting it, as there are a good amount of seam lines, at least on like the limbs anyway, where you might expect for a kit like this, but those will take a little bit of time to clean up. But aside from that, otherwise, I think the kit does look pretty great, just straight out the box as it is. As I mentioned before, that kind of matte black for the skirt part there, and then the pre-printing on the front of the skirt does also save you the trouble of sticking a decal on there as well. So I mean, just straight out the box, it does look pretty nice, but let's take a closer look at some of the finer details of the kit. So starting off at the top, we got this little hair, which will move a little bit side to side, but do be a little bit careful with that. You do have two of those in the box though, so if you do break one, you have an extra one, so that's kind of convenient. The bunny ears here on the back of the head are also just connected via ball joints like that, so you can move them kind of like straight up, sort of like this, or down like that. You can't uh, like rotate them though any further than that or they're gonna fall off the ball joints. But those do have some pretty nice movement in there and a little bit of detail there inside with like this like screw detail there. You have to paint that in like silver or something to make that look 
as it should, I suppose. And the hair is articulated basically in three sections. This whole back part will move up and down like that. And then these side parts also move a little bit as well, but they're on these really tiny little pieces and this one's already come off. So you're definitely gonna wanna glue that little piece up inside of there so it doesn't keep coming off. And again, it's really cool how the bunny ears are plugged in via this, like supposed to look like this sort of like headphone jack, sort of. So you'll have to again, paint that to make it in the correct color, but that's a cool little gimmick to the design, I suppose. And the head is on a ball joint, so you can move that up and down a little bit here and turn that as well. I do find that the face does come apart a little bit easily, so just make sure you're holding that together as you're moving that around. And then in the midsection, you do also have some forward and back bend here as well. This front apron kind of part is just kind of loosely attached in there, so that'll just kind of float in there on its own as a separate piece. The arm is just connected in the shoulder via a ball joint, so you can kind of move that around a little bit. You can bring the arm up to about 90 degrees to the body there like that. You can bend the arm to it to about a 90 degree bend there at the elbow and then the hand is just attached via a ball joint there as well. The legs are also attached via a ball joint there at the hip so those can come out uh, about to there and for this black skirt section there's no like real front and back to this so you can kind of move it around to whichever way I guess suits you or however you want to pose the kit. It's all kind of, it's not symmetrical so moving it around in different ways will give you a little bit different look for that but move that around. Anyway, my point is that the legs will only come up about as far as the skirt will allow it there. Then at the knee, you've got about a 90 degree bend there in the knee as well. The foot also just attached via a joint, which will give you a little bit of forward and back bend there at the ankle. And once again, this part here is just kind of floating in between almost. And it should bend a little bit side to side as well to give you like sort of an angled stance there for the feet like that which does work pretty well but when we swap out the feet you can see that's where that black pre-printed part is in there for like the top of the boot you have two options for your feet now we have the base which as we noted before has the magnets in it which does work pretty cool underneath here is the switch to move that to the left and right there's the green side move it to the other side and then it's red and back of here you have this like detail of the plug there's nothing to actually plug into that and on the underside you have these like little pad pieces or they're supposed to look like pads they're just like the same kind of plastic but again it's just meant to look like an actual like piece of equipment which it does which is really cool but the boot feet don't have magnets in there you can't stand it in there that doesn't those don't fit so i guess when she's in here she's supposed to be barefoot and there's two different types of feet they're pretty much identical in size and shape except that one set has the toenails molded in detail and the other side doesn't have any toenails molded in detail so you can switch it doesn't really matter which one you use you just uh, swap the ankle joint part for whichever set you prefer and they both both sets have a metal piece on the underside to attach to the magnet anyway so it really doesn't matter which set you use both sets will have the seam line on the side of the foot which is kind of sucks but with the bare feet attached then she'll just snap down into place and the magnets actually work really well now of course not super well enough that you can uh, throw this around but they do snap into place and it's a pretty cool effect for that so that's kind of interesting of course then her other accessories are the holding hand option hands you have for this so holding on to the accessories handheld accessories those will include the little pistol gun here which is just all molded in one color so that'll take some painting all of them actually just all molded in one color you have the sword which is also pretty nicely molded but you'll need to paint that and the broom which is very cool but you need to paint this one here as well also have a little seam line on the side of the broom there so i mean just attempting to go through the articulation of this kit a bunch of stuff was falling apart on me the hair was falling apart the skirt section this part was falling apart so the stability of this kit straight out of the box is not the best you definitely are going to want to glue some pieces in place and then you know if you're going to be painting up the kit that'll help but uh, definitely tightening up the joints, gluing some pieces, things like that is going to be recommended if you want to do some different posing with the kit. And just to give you guys an idea of the size of this kit, I mentioned before that it is small, but I mean it's really about the right about the same height in general as your standard high grade kit, 144 scale Gundam kit. It's just that compared to other things, I mean the kit doesn't necessarily seem very big, but it's a, I mean you know decent size there as you can see. But otherwise, that is going to be pretty much it. A pretty simple and straightforward kit. There's not really too much else to say about this. Other than that, 
it's a just cute little simple kit if you want something fun and interesting it doesn't really take a whole lot of time to build not that cheap though uh, it's not really the cheapest thing out there unfortunately but it is definitely super unique just these little like kind of girl robots that are like the kit is supposed to be a like one-to-one -one scale you know you can imagine these are actually supposed to be like little things that are meant to be in your house going around killing bugs it's just a fun really creative idea i think it's a really interesting idea so if you were looking for something fun and interesting like this to just keep on your desk or something i think it's just a really cool thing to have around as just a little uh, kind of model kit figure sort of basically and I, I bet I wonder if there are like figures not model kits that you build but just like figures for this series I assume there probably are uh, but I don't know I don't know if I've ever seen one or not but the kits are pretty cool uh, there's a couple of more coming out I know there's been a handful of them out already but in with like the new edition versions I think there's two more on the way at the moment that I can remember uh, I do plan on reviewing at least one more of those, so we'll see how that looks. And again, I did review one uh, in the past, a couple years back, so if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on that one, I did already review that, but I should review another one in a couple months' time, once the other one is out. And as always, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this kit? Is it cool, cute, something you're interested in, or totally not at all? Uh, if you have any other further questions about this, you can also let me know down in the comment section there below as well if, you had, if there's anything that I didn't mention or didn't uh, talk about here. And as always, guys, check the link down in the video description to USA Gundam Store. You can check out these kits, other kits from Kotobukiya, Bandai, and everything like that. You can save 10% off everything there on the website using my coupon code, ZakoReleus10. So check that out in the video description down below here. And until next time, guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.